Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're at the latest from the live radar from the latest UKV have to view precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as through Thursday and Friday it is going to remain fairly dry and increasingly going to turn warmer especially with some sunshine but of course when the cloud comes in when we do see the sun set in the evenings it is going to feel ch pretty chilly as the upper air temperatures are still relatively cold. As we head into the weekend, though, we start to see a little bit of a change as we do see the Atlantic trying to push back in. No, at the moment, we don't expect it to break through. But as it does try to push low pressure systems in, we are going to see some rain, especially in the west during Saturday. And it could push further eastwards Saturday through to Sunday. Uh, it does look like it will fragment as it does, but nonetheless could give some heavier bursts in places. As we look into the longer range, we are seeing temperatures returning towards average or even above average towards the end of September and start of October. Still a lot of uncertainty about whether we will see those low pressure systems break in and off the Atlantic. But today, both the GFS and the GM do do that. And we do see some really unsettled, if not stormy conditions arriving around the day eight, day nine, day 10 period with big Atlantic lows. East of the F, a little bit more delayed, still holding the Atlantic off for the time being, um, but nonetheless still threatening the risk of that unlock. Uh, ensembles as well are definitely perhaps starting to side more towards the unsettled pattern, but we'll look at that in more detail in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, if you start on the live radar, see not too much going on as expected, very dry, but still a little bit chilly out there at the moment. Now recording this around 8 p.m. on Wednesday evening, and you can see once again, temperatures are not great. Lots of blues and some light yellows indicating temperatures are about the high single digits or low double digits at the moment, and will drop away by another couple of degrees overnight tonight. A pretty chilly pattern at the moment, but it's nothing too unusual for late September. Now if you look at the latest UKV, you can see not too much going on through the rest of Wednesday or really through Thursday at all. Lots of sunshine, but still pretty beautiful there during Thursday afternoon into the evening. Friday, to be honest, pretty similar. Not too bad, a bit more cloud, unfortunately, but still pretty bright and dry. Into Saturday, though, we do start to see that rain pushing in pretty heavy in the west and persistent, slow moving as well. And it does make its way eastwards, but does fragment and dissipate away as it does. And then as we head into Sunday, a few showers in the north and the west, but it slowly does turn a little bit drier as we start to see the battle between the high pressure to the east and low pressure to our west. Do look at the max temperatures, you can see as we head through this afternoon, it was 17 or 18 degrees. So not too bad, but still a little bit chilly. Overnight, similar temperatures. We've had the last few nights around the mid single digits, maybe upper single digits in towns and cities. Into Thursday afternoon, temperatures slightly higher, 17 to 19. So it is going to feel pretty decent out there in that sunshine. But as soon as the sun starts to set, those temperatures will drop off very quickly down towards the low double digits, if not single digits there into Friday morning. And then into Friday afternoon, it is a little bit cooler with the cloud pushing in more around the mid teens there. And then finally into Saturday and Sunday, a little bit chillier, inevitably with thicker cloud and rain more towards the mid teens or even low teens. And you see for Sunday, uh, maybe climbing a little bit higher with a reduction in precipitation, but still chilly nonetheless. And so then finally into Monday, again, we're looking at 13 to maybe 17 degrees. So not too bad over the next five days. Of course, a bit of rain to come through Saturday, maybe a little bit on Sunday and Monday, but we're just looking at generally some showers there um, and temperatures getting closer to average, but still probably falling a little bit short. Now, if you look at the longer range now, as we see from the latest GFS, things could turn a lot more unsettled later on into early October. Now, you can see at the moment, the high pressure coming up against that lower pressure, slightly lower pressure breaks through for a time, then the high builds back in for most and holds on to around day eight, day nine. This is where we start to see a bit of an Atlantic onslaught. Look at this, some really deep areas of low pressure pushing through, looking really unsettled, if not stormy there towards early October. Now, we still see a bit of an Atlantic ridge here, but it doesn't have as much strength. And you can see the low pressure does win out quite frequently, pushing precipitation and generally unsettled conditions back across the UK. And with the wind coming in from the northwest, it's probably going to be pretty chilly indeed. Look at that. The upper air temperatures are pretty cold. And you can see the temperature deviation is a good four to maybe eight degrees below average. So pretty chilly none, uh, in indeed there as we head towards 384 hours.
Now, if you compare to the GM, it's broadly very similar. Again, high pressure in control. Low pressure trying to push through later on next week. And you can see as we head towards day 10, really big low pressure system there, very similar to the GFS. Maybe different sort of orientation and size, but nonetheless, a very strong low pressure system pushing through. And see the Atlantic really powers up, still very amplified. But by this point, it starts to have us sat in a trough under these low pressure systems and that could create some really unsettling conditions. You can see the strength of the wind there looking really strong indeed. It's a GM not looking great, I must stress. Um, yeah, it does look like it could turn really unsettled there into early October. Now, if you compare finally to the ECMWF, very similar over the next kind of five or six days, but into next week or later on next week, the high pressure holds on all the way out to day 10. It's kind of a battle between those uh, those high pressure systems to our east and our south, low pressure to the north and west. And you see the jet streams a lot more contained. Uh, and you see the tropospheric polar vortex much more contained there above the Arctic. And for us, we keep with a bit of a south or southwesterly flow, warm air streaming in. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad at all there as we do head into early October. So the ECM though, yeah, looking really quite nice, looking warm, hopefully pretty dry, but it is in huge contrast to both the GFS and the GM, which do produce stormy conditions once again. So still quite a bit of uncertainty within the model output. Now, if you do look at the latest ensembles, you see over the next kind of five to seven days, we are still pretty chilly, still a few degrees below average at the upper air level, but we return closer to average and maybe even above average there into early October. But that could coincide with that more unsettled spell. Precipitation is still low to moderate, so not an overwhelming signal, but definitely a real possibility there of something a lot more unsettled into early October. If we look at the sea level pressure, a few runs are really dropping off, including the operational run. Again, symbolic of those lows moving through. So a little trough, a little dip is starting to appear around the 3rd, 4th, 5th of October. So perhaps signs of the Atlantic pushing back through then. But at the same time, it's not an overwhelming signal. It's only, uh, you know, about a third to a quarter of runs really showing any major dip. So at the moment, still quite uncertain. And if you do compare to the ECM WF, you'll be able to see the midnight run is broadly very similar. Below average at the moment, trending to average or above average into early October, and precipitation does pick up as well. Sea level pressure, again, uh, it does stay pretty high for the foreseeable future, but slowly into early October, it does drop off, and again, we can see some really low runs there as we head later on into the first week of October. So definitely signs at the moment of the high pressure is not really going anywhere. Yes, it's going to be a bit of rain, a bit of deepening of the lows in the next few days um, over the weekend. But generally speaking, longer term, it isn't looking too bad before early October. Then we could see a bit of a change as we do see perhaps the jet stream powering back up or at least powering back up in more of a trajectory that impacts us at the moment the jet stream is still strong it's just diverted to our north and doesn't really have much of an impact on us um, with this high staying in place so I'll wait and see exactly what the runs do show over the next few days but don't be surprised if we do see perhaps a very unsettled or even stormy pattern there to appear into early october so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribing if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon